Hello everyone, this is Supersport again. The purpose of this short video is to show you how to completely uninstall Delphi or Autocom so that if you need to reinstall you won't run into any conflicts. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Revo Uninstaller website, revouninstaller.com. We'll go to downloads. I'll download their free uninstaller right here. Save it to the desktop. I've already downloaded it. It's going to want to override it. It's a pretty quick download. Matter of fact, it's done already. I'm going to close this browser and we'll install Rebone Installer. Just go through all the defaults. This is a free program. Um, if you like it, I highly recommend you buy the full version. It's really a great program for un uninstalling things. Okay, we'll go ahead and run it now. Uh, here first, they're going to pop up the window saying thank you for installing and purchase if you want to. Again, you don't have to. Um, the free version does pretty much everything you need. Full version is a little nicer. Close that. Okay, so here's our Delphi uh, cars and trucks. I don't have Autocom installed right now, but if I did, they'd be listed here also. So I'm going to delete one of them, we'll double click, or you can single click and click uninstall, but I'm going to go ahead and double click. Yes, I do want to install it. We'll go to advanced mode that does a more thorough cleaning. What's happening now is creating a system restore point inside Windows. It's also backing up the registry. And then it's going to run the Delphi uninstaller program that comes from Delphi. Go through the Delphi uninstaller. Install, yes, I'm sure. For all the files, it's going to ask us about one file. It might ask you about more files depending on what your previous installs were. And you'll have to confirm each of those. I'm going to click yes. Again, you might end up with a lot of those. I know some of the installs in the past have added a lot of extra files that need to be deleted manually like that. Okay, it's finished the Delphi uninstall, so let's click next and finish. Now we're gonna let the Reva uninstaller scan for left behind items. It's checking the registry and your file folders for anything extra that's left behind. I'll click next when that's finished. And here's the registry items that were left behind. We'll select all, delete. I'm going to click next, and here's all the files and folders that were left behind. Select all, delete, yes, and click next. And that's it, Delphi Cars has been fully uninstalled. So you could actually use my, my Delphi all-in-one installer to install now and it would work fine.